So here I'm fabricating a double acting hinge using two standard hinges and a piece of sheet metal here, stainless steel. Uh, I'm gonna be welding stainless steel to regular carbon steel just with my MIG welder. And uh, you'll see how that works out. And I cut the uh, stainless steel out of a plate that I had using this uh, saw blade here for ferrous metals and put it into my table saw. I've already pulled it out because I, I normally cut wood on a table saw, but right now uh, I had to cut some steel, so I used this, work worked pretty good. And I had to just uh, dress up the, the uh, cut a little bit with the sanding disc here. So now I'm gonna take this over to the, uh, the workstation and do some welding. All right, I've got my plate here on the workstation. I'm gonna be uh, doing a little welding now. I'm using regular carbon steel with a welding rod. Turn up the heat just a little bit. So I've got a little tack on there now. You may notice my helmet. Um, it has a chin activated uh, device here that you can, you just use your chin to open and close the uh, visor makes it real handy to to work it and it's not electronic so you don't have to worry about it not working Now I have to uh, so this is what I've got so far a hinge uh, welded to the plate here now I'm gonna weld another hinge to it like that and get have this uh, be a double acting hinge for a project I'm working on
Okay, so I've got this uh, totally welded up now. It's basically two hinges and a plate. And uh, what it's gonna be, I'll show you on another video where this actually becomes a way to hide a electrical um, a breaker box. This will fold over and there'll be a picture mounted on this one and on this front hinge. So the hinge will be allowed to pivot away from the wall and then out. So you can pivot the uh, picture out away from the wall and it'll be just mounted to a stud here on this. So once this cools, I'm gonna paint it. And, uh, and the, as you can see, the uh, stainless steel and uh, regular carbon steel weld together just fine and it'll hold. Um, if you're welding something and not gonna paint it and it was stainless, you would wanna use stainless steel filler rod. But in this case, uh, this is all gonna get painted and it'll be used inside. So I don't really worry about uh, the stainless aspect of it.